What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another PlayStation Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to be giving you all a few tips when using wireless mobile hotspots with your PlayStation 4 console. Now for this video, as you can see, I am using an Android device, but these tips will also work for iPhone, iOS users as well. Now this first tip I have is to make sure that you close out all background applications when you're tethering mobile data to your console. This will prevent other apps from eating up our bandwidth because the goal is to channel all available bandwidth to our PS4 console. Next, we're going to make sure that our phone or PlayStation isn't downloading anything in the background, especially if you plan on using the connection for multiplayer games. The reason behind this is because downloading while gaming can sometimes cause excess latency on our hotspot, which will cause the game to lag. Now, if you do have a PS4 Pro and your phone supports 5 GHz tethering, you will want to use it in order to take advantage of the increased speed over just standard 2.4 GHz. Now, lastly, this is going to be a very special life hack for advanced users only. And that is essentially how to turn your wireless hotspot into a fully functioning home router that can support ethernet connections. Now to do this, you will need a spare router with a USB port that can support OpenWRT as well as a computer. Now, I'm not going to go over OpenWRT software installation in this video because there are plenty of helpful guides available that can show you how to do it. But what I am going to do is show you how to configure OpenWRT to use your mobile hotspot as a wired connection. Now, step one is to connect your OpenWRT router to your computer and log into the user interface. Then we're gonna to go to system, software, and install the OPKGs that are needed to make this work. You can find both the Android and iOS OPKGs by using the link that I provided in the video description. Now to install OPKGs on your OpenWRT router, you can either use SSH with programs like PuTTY, or you can do it using the router's web interface by simply using copy and paste directly from the wiki. Now, if you're using iPhone, I do recommend reading further into the wiki guide for additional instructions. But once we've installed the needed OPKGs, we are going to create a new interface called Tethering WAN. We will set the protocol as DHCP and then the interface as USB zero. Then we're going to click submit. Next, we're going to click tethering WAN, then click firewall settings and assign the firewall zone to WAN and WAN 6. Then we're going to click save and apply. And now we're going to connect our Android phone to the router using a USB cable. And then we will enable mobile hotspot as well as USB tethering on our device. And lastly, we're going to click refresh on the tethering WAN interface, and that's it. Now we can connect our PS4 as well as any other devices via Ethernet to our hotspot router and enjoy wired internet access. So there you guys have it. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video. Also, comment below to tell me what you think. And as always, do not forget to subscribe as well as ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.